the 7th of June, 2023. Hi, everybody. I'm Dana Durnford. I hope you're doing well. No music tonight, Dana. <laughs> Apparently not. You can call in at 709-589-4406. Got a big show of the news cycle, 24-hour news cycle. These are always wham, bam. We got a poll tonight. Could geothermal solve the energy crisis quicker than fusion or the... It's disappointing whenever I hear the word small modular reactors. That's why you hear me hesitating. They don't even exist, but yet, you know, fusion and small modular reactors, according to the whole planet, is the solution, but they don't even exist. It's like saying, if we all hold hands and say kumbaya, the aliens will show up and resolve everything. We won't have to do nothing. That picture is the dining plant. 10 kilometers south. That's the, the ugly stepbrother of the Fukushima Daiichi, the Fukushima Daini. And to your left is the group of fusion scam artists <clears throat> getting a lot of money for, don't have to produce nothing. What a fantastic scam, eh? That's fusion for you and small modular reactors for you. So, we got a big amount of information to get through. Last night shows some serious revelations from the first couple of weeks of Fukushima's extinction level event. Geothermal energy. I know a lot of people if you've never been here before, you're saying, what the hell is that? It's, it's got a nice ring to it. Well, when will geothermal energy go mainstream? Uh, it's been mainstream for about 100 years or so, but it hasn't been put into the conversation. It can do a better job than gas, oil, and coal, and nuclear, obviously. Despite the growing interest in geothermal, it is still little talked about at the international level. Most governments and energy firms continue to invest heavily in wind and solar power. So why would you invest heavily in the billions and not put a few billion into geothermal? I, because if you see it working on a large scale, it's pretty hard to deny it. See? It doesn't need consumables, doesn't need storage, it doesn't depend on the wind or the, the sunshine. New scale tells potential use of something that don't exist. By the way, steam is what geothermal is. But you want to create something that don't exist rather than use something that already exists. So what's going on, I wonder? What are these devious creatures up to? New research demonstrates the advanced capabilities of the small module reactors for reducing emissions. First, just by making the mix oxide fuel you're going to put in there, it's a catastrophic event for all species on the planet because of the emissions from that process itself. It's crucial to meeting global climate goals. And New Scale is actually the Department of Energies. That's who New Scale really is in real life. They're ex-employees and they're fully supported and funded by the government. And 18 years, you still can't produce something. <laughs> so yeah, they must work for the government most of their life to be able to have that track record. 
Croatia sees great interest in geothermal energy. Cro Croatia is perfect. But the nuclear industry is weaning itself in. They're going to wreck their futures if they can. And there's all kinds of big organizations. We've seen car plants that are setting up geothermal that would power 40,000 homes for their factories. You know, um, last year, or this year in renewables, they expect it to be about 440 gigawatts. That's 440 large nuclear power plants in 12 months. That's, e that's equal to 3,000 of new scale small modular reactors that came online in 12 months versus 18 years, you still got nothing. It's, these kind of stories crack me up. Tiny radioactive particles persist indoors years after Fukushima. Uh, this is 4th of June, 2023. This is last week and, or a few days ago, <coughs> three days ago. And so they found uh, cesium microparticles. These are very, very hot particles, by the way. And they're pointing a finger in the local areas around the nuclear plants themselves. What cracks me up even more is we got airborne plumes covering the planet in 20 days. And they're pretending that don't exist in order for them to tell this story. Radioactive microparticles still costing buildings, coating buildings near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disease factory plant five years after the disaster, according to a study. The chemosphere. Uh, researchers found cesium rich microparticles in the dust of the abandoned primary school 20 kilometers southwest of the plant in uh, Kuma. Or southwest, uh, Futabar. They don't dissolve well in water. That sounds like the sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs, don't it? From spraying the salt water in the melted reactors. Meaning they're likely to persist in the environment in the bodies of people and animals. Well, the other particles will too. These are hot particles though. Given like incredibly hot, the other ones are still hot, but these are super hot. They could penetrate into the deepest part of the lung where they could be retained. Generally, these hot particles don't get retained in the lungs. They burn a hole through it. <clears throat> and then they end up in the bones, mutate the stem cells of children and birds and mammals and animals and insects and everything else. The research has previously shown 2011 nuke tart disaster was triggered by an earthquake and tsunami. Why do we always got to go down that road, I wonder? released cesium microparticles, and he found the cesium microparticles in a wide area, including as far south as Tokyo. Huh. He found Neptunium right around the entire planet, and plutonium and americium, uranium, plutonium. It's going to be in that same pile, and strontium and everything else. And for every cesium microparticle created, there's probably a hundred strontium-90 particles created. We're widely distributed in the Fukushima exclusion zone, but are not yet shown the particles can get indoors. <coughs> I want you to think about that. <laughs> so 12 years later, they didn't think the particles can get indoors. It's so bizarre to find somebody that tells the truth. If you find them, you probably uh, you'll probably end up not believing they're true because you're so used to so many lawyers. I would imagine. I'm gonna do it again. It's not yet shown the particles could get indoors. 
Let's ask the bumblebees and the ants and everything if we got indoors in their little communities, I wonder. They examined dust samples from floors near the school entrance on the second floor in a nuclear wasteland surrounded by nuclear wastelands. You weren't sure can you get indoors, folks. In the school years, you found cesium microparticles at both indoor locations with higher concentrations near the door. Let us in! Let us in! That's what they're saying, right? Potential occurrence of cesium microparticles in indoor environments dictate a need for detailed studies of indoor cesium microparticles in a residential area impacted by Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants fallout. This is co-author Professor Gareth Law. And he said, it believes it's our duty to discuss conduct rigorous scientific research on tragic Fukushima events. Really? I'm literally just over friggin' whelmed. To find and publicize new knowledge that would be important to, to society in the next generation. <laughs> After 12 years, that's the first time I heard that one. <clears throat> They're definitely getting raises and tenors at local universities for that propaganda. Oh, let me scratch my ear while you like, subscribe, notify, or not. <laughs> Sleep lifetime, eh? So if you're, if you're a zombie, good things will happen to you, basically. CCM microparticles, you say? Huh. Reminds me of a study that showed up in 2014 from who, you know, the IRS and the French government's experts themselves. The radiation levels in the U.S. West Coast spiked a million times after the Fukushima explosion to 10 million times. This fallout, by the way, is only based on seven days. And America is being pounded the whole West Coast and um, most of the continent within a couple of days. By day 15, the whole continent is covered in a million to 10 million Beckwells per square meter of cesium microparticles of 137. But uh, they can't find it at it's gathered up at the door to the school. It's trying to get in there. The Taiwan uh, propaganda machine, Taipei Times. What a disgusting bunch that works for that place, eh? St and they rarely put their names on the articles. Staff writer. Fukushima wastewater discharge is not a threat. Fukushima wastewater is not a threat, except for, you know, the threat. You really want to go there, frigger? <sighs> Hang on. <laughs> yeah, it's nuclear, but there's no shortcuts in nuclear. That's the problem with nuclear. Too much friggin' work. I've done research expeditions for almost six straight years. Oh, I've done a lot of that, but six hardcore. And what I found was shocking. Well, we got the big one up. What I found was just unbelievably shocking. What's going on here? So we went all the way up the coastline, and the species to your left were exterminated. Now we know because we've done this year after year from four to five months at a time. The species to your left never came back, and that's why we've done it year after year to see if they returned. And I can assure you that and they didn't return. 
Is the nuclear industry worth losing all these species? If you're this evil with nuclear, how evil are they going to be with fusion and small modular reactors? That's a question I need an answer to. So was it worth sacrificing all those species for the fabled nukes? So the nuclear industry can make a paycheck, basically. Was it ex worth exterminating the planet so the nuclear industry can make a paycheck? There's a lot of them in the nuclear industry on top of that. So when they say it's not going to hurt the, uh, it's not a threat. It's already happened. It's already happened over and over. They blew up. They lost their inventories. The media went in there and pretended the buildings didn't even exist from right around the world. The, the, the documentation is, is unbelievably overwhelming. It's incontestable. It's unassailable. But the nuclear industry doesn't care. It wants to get its own way. It'll throw a tantrum for 100 years if that's what it takes for them to get their own way. And they'll disrupt all species and lives on this planet to get their own way. So when they talk about tritium, it means they're a worthless human being. That means they're, they're a waste of skin. And it means not even a human when you go down that road, when you try to perpetrate that lie and that's what it's all about. I haven't got a single model of tritium, tritium radioactive fallout, not one. This model, at this point in this, right here is 20 days of fallout. This is 25 days of fallout. This is 30 days of fallout. It starts again, right? So at 20 days, this is 26 days, at 20 days, it's covering the planet. But every story that comes out says it didn't happen. The buildings didn't melt down. There's no fallout. It's only tritium. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Sleep a lifetime. This story is crazy. Let's look at the poll quickly. Could geothermal solve the energy crisis sooner than fusion and small modular reactors that don't even exist? Duh, Dina, of course. A cyclist was attacked by a bear in Fukushima Prefecture. Dana, why are you reading stuff like that? Because <clears throat> that's some weirdo like that. But what I found kind of, not bizarre, but what I expected to find didn't let me down. So you had the comment sections. After years without human habitation, Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Beer population will grow more and more because they're abandoned because of nuclear wasteland. You get it? At least now they will have less concern about radiation in that place. And the pro nuclear couldn't handle somebody talking about radiation, so they came in and said, "Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe Koryama, which is where the bear attack happened, was a restricted zone." And it's a good 70 kilometers from the nuke tart plant. Well, pff. here's Koryama. Let's talk about Koryama for a second, see if what they're claiming in the comments section. Because this is how the, bra the brainwashing works. It, it, they won't let nothing go. They'll challenge every single story, every comment, every video, except for here. They'll show up at a scatter time, but they don't come back. Elementary school in Japan using water bottles to shield the students from radiation. <clears throat> now, if any place should be abandoned, evacuated, it should be that place, I would imagine. The story is so fantastical 
uh, I feel a responsibility to share it with you. Uh, elementary school, elementary school. In Koryama City, 34 miles, 70 kilometers away from the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Disease Factory, AKA power meltdown plant, is using water bottles to shield the radiation coming from the courtyard, the gamma shine, the alpha burst, the uh, beta rays, the neutron bombardments. Goes right through the building, goes through the classroom, gets the children in the bathroom. It's using water bottles to shield radiation coming from the courtyard and other areas around the school building. Well, the whole community is pulsing energy every second at the speed of light. The bottles are filled with water, placed inside of square boxes, and are stacked around the classrooms. It's such a bizarre story. It just doesn't even, how can this be real, Dana? This, this can't be real. Nobody's that heartless. They would leave the school, the children in a nuclear wasteland to suffer like that. Nobody's that repulsive, Dana. Nobody's that, that's called terrorism, by the way. That's monstrous, it's disgraceful, it's horrid, it's gruesome, it's hideous. It's a snake, it's a supervillain. That's what nuclear actually is. They're not gangsters, they're supervillains. They're bandits, they're desperados and thieves. They steal everybody's future. So they got bottles filled with water stacked inside and outside the classroom. And the idea it reduces the radiation levels by one third, not half, but one third. <laughs> the school children that are the most vulnerable to radioactive fallout, by the way. Children, bring your plastic bottles to school. We're gonna fill them up and learn how to block one third of the radiation from Fukushima fallout. Was teacher, shouldn't we move out of here? No, no, Fukushima government said it's all safe. The parents should be arrested for child abuse, as far as I can tell. Residents of Koryama City, the police should have to go back to school and learn how to spell their name. Residents of Koryama City have been concerned about the high amounts of radioactive material which have been found around the town. Oh, so it's not just the school, Dana. This is astounding. Well, Koryama City, the unclear from UN, which is no different than ERPA or, the, or uh, IAEA, it's just another subsidy of this global corporation known as UN. I put out absorbed doses of red bone marrow. Of course, they didn't find any for the victims. But what was really interesting, of course, was you see highlighted in purple, average disposition density of 137 cesium on the soil. And when I start going through this, you got all these communities in La Roe that should be abandoned, but are not. Koryama City is one of them, 340,000 people at 162,000 counts per minute of just cesium, which is an incredible betrayal to only acknowledge cesium. And this is the legacy of 80 years of nuclear industry, this hoodwinking. So leaving children in that area and then using water bottles to try to lower the dose by one third, if that's not insanity, I'm confused what actually is. Very, very confused. If that's not scoundrels and that's not despicable and contemptible, what actually is? Is this not beyond contempt, beyond the pale, is not dishonorable, what actually is? Well, school lunches are tested for radiation. It hurts me to do this, eh? Parents are concerned because they're alert, it scares the shit out of me. 
I have nightmares every night for years and years and years from this shit. Parents are concerned because they are largely unable to find out where the items are originally produced, talking about the food the children are eating, that they're testing for radiation, we can't seem to find it. They're surrounded by millions and millions and millions of one-ton bags of radiation, but they can't find any. The bottles are blocking the radiation, but they can't find any. The government, but everybody else can. So therefore it doesn't exist because the government couldn't find it. That is made up of the pro-nuclear industry. They're just looking for it. Because it's outside the evacuation zone, the government has barely conducted any decontamination activity. Every house deer qualifies for radioactive decontamination, but you can't decontaminate a house. Same as Fukushima City further away. But you can't decontaminate a house. How does that work? Remember the story earlier? Can't get inside. They didn't know it could get inside. Right alongside of multiple nuclear meltdowns. Just like the only people we know in the media, from, from when you look at nuclear, all we find is just brutal, vicious, hateful lies about the industry covering it up. This is why the Hulk and Spider-Man were created exactly to manipulate you from birth, literally. South Korea, very disappointing with South Korea, I might add. Protest against Japan's radioactive water discharge. And we got a picture of a guy with a handmade f barrel. It's a pretty good job. He hand, he, I don't know if he handmade it or whatever, but he painted it himself. Done a good job with the stencils and the, they're protesting the tritium. They're, they're not protesting the decade, decade and two years of emissions into the oceans and the environment and the ecosystem, no. <coughs> they're looking for tritium. They, they bought into the tritium. Well, they're helping them, right? This, this guy, unequivocally, he's the head of the nuclear industry. If he doesn't know Fukushima's melted down, who should? If he doesn't know it looks like that, who should? <coughs> Got a tickle in my wickle. Hang on. That's better, <coughs> I hope. That's quite a tickle. If I'm walking down on the sidewalk and he's walking towards me and I see somebody with that face, I'm crossing the street. By the way, South Korea called Japan's handling of Fukushima incompetent. Incompetence. Just, and what, the, what are they showing us right now? Incompetence, right? <clears throat> Two hour shows every night is funny, killed my throat. Hopefully, we get another 20 years of beating up the nuclear industry out of these old bones. Because this, we're going to need at least that long to beat some sense into them by the sounds of things. CC 137 hotspot in Seoul, South Korea. Thousand times a percent normal background, 1200 kilometers from a mass of nuclear wastelands. Right, you got the uh, store bought seaweed at absurd numbers. And radioactive iodine is six seaweed samples by South Korea. And, and you notice these, these first couple of years, you won't hear the word tritium a single time. So Korea ban well, that's not true, I guess. We do have some examples. So Korea bans 30, <laughs> believe that or not. So Korea bans 35 Japanese seafood products, and even today the same ones are banned, but uh, there's only tritium going in the water. Well, they want to have a nuclear renaissance, the current president 
of South Korea. The last administration was anti-nuclear. The, the current one, just like, come on, turn on all the lights at the nuclear plants, like get it up and run them before the next administration comes in and shuts it down again. South Korea bans all fishery products from eight Fukushima prefectures, 2013. But uh, the only thing they're worried about is tritium today. Is there anything to fairy dust? I'm confused. And public concern over Japan's fish import looks to be justified. Over 6 million pounds were shipped back uh, to Japan that was too radioactive to eat from South Korea. But they're worried about tritium. The protests are so brainwashed, they're actually they're pr on the streets. Don't release the tritium into the ocean. It's going on all around the world, too. They bought it hook, line, and sinker. And every, you know, it's malfeasance, right? But th this is a captured regulatory agencies, captured universities, captured media, has captured government uh, positions. These are scoundrels. Well, they're pirates. They're not even pirates. They're terrorists. They're racketeers. They're they're black hats, they're felons, actually. Where's the poll? Let's bring that in. Could geothermal, it could have solved this 50 years ago if we had a tried. Could geothermal solve the energy crisis sooner than fusion? And even 50 years too late, it can still solve it quicker than fusion and small modular reactors. Because, you know, they don't even exist. <laughs> so imagine if the big media or Elon Musk tweets out that one. That that little clip right there. <laughs> That's it for the nuclear industry, is it? Just that little type of clip will bomb the nuclear industry into non existence. The whole world will be like, What? Shit, that actually makes sense. You see what he got me censored? Being honest is literally a crime. It's, it's a federal crime right now. Because the nuclear industry can't exist with any honesty, right? Government needs to ban all fish from all regions of scumbag Japan. But you can't block the fish migrating along the sea. <clears throat> it drives me nuts sometimes. But let me explain how bizarre this whole conversation actually really is. Because boy, oh boy, oh boy, is this ever bizarre. So they've got lots and lots of nuclear scientists in South Korea. And not one of them can work out that South Korea got pounded too. South Korea is right behind Fukushima. Maybe this one will work. There we go. In the bottom right-hand corner... In the bottom right hand corner, right behind my big fat head is Fukushima. Right behind that, right here, is South Korea. What's the chance South Korea got some of this radiation covering the whole planet in 26 days, I wonder? <clears throat> Apparently there wasn't a single nuclear scientist in South Korea who could work that out. What, you make it all the way here? That's ridiculous. We can't have a job and a pension if people think it's that way, Dana. There's still a few species left to kill off, Dana. It won't take us much longer. You gotta do it while everybody's sleeping because you won't be able to do it when everybody's awake. But uh, imagine being part of that, you know, where you make a living exterminating everything in increments and setting them on the path to com complete extermination. So you're gonna get a paycheck and pretend to your friends and families and your kids you're special. Well, I'm in the nuclear industry. My daddy, mommy's in the nuclear industry. They're better than yours. Yeah, better at genocide and omnicide. They're the worst criminals humanity ever created, aren't they? Fish contaminated with Fukushima radiation in Sri Lanka. <coughs> Concerned officials now considering a ban on Japan's food items, 2014. 
Well, it's never too late. The reality of it is, and it's, it's appropriate. Just ban Japan. Can't take a chance, see? Nuclear scientists previously told government to halt all imports after finding high radiation levels. It wasn't implemented due to fear of hurting bilateral relations. South Korea. So, so Korea, Turkey began testing all food from Japan. Imports suspected to be contaminated. It's not suspected, it's given, it's guaranteed. It's impossible for it not to be. And that the very lowest levels of radiation are harmful to life. We have to rethink exposures from these disease factories that are dotting our planets. Is it safe to eat the sushi? No. <clears throat> And on top of that, they, they spend enormous amounts of money to censor social network from people that are honest or that actually understand the big picture. Now, if, if I was full of mistakes and, and talking about bananas and airplanes and stuff like that, millions and millions of subscribers on every show yucking it up. 12 million yen to censor Twitter. But if you look at the water filtration system, the problem with that equation was there was quite a few. There was a Siri system, the Ereva system, the ELP systems, and none of them worked. The Ereva system in 2014, three and a half years later, was, was unused. In 2014, the ELP system was unused because it you can't get near it once you turn it on. And you can't change your filter because it's lethal doses. There are certain parts that say we don't have full control. Yeah, like if the tank, if one tank was full of the radiation from pouring over the reactor fuel, you couldn't build another tank on that site. Tepco says groundwater bypass up. So the fact that you see other tanks on the site means they're empty. They might be full of fresh water, but they ain't full of Fukushima water poured over the reactor cores, that's for sure. And they have massive earthquakes every year, which they're overdue big time this year. Right, they're almost a month overdue for a massive earthquake right along the shoreline, right off those dilapidated reactor buildings, those stumps of reactor, the ghost of reactors that are left here. TEPCO says groundwater bypass operation, where the water comes down the mountain, they direct it around the site. They couldn't work that, it still runs right through the site into the ocean. And you're, you're talking thousands and thousands of tons a day minimum. Failed, TEPCO failed to deliver the promise to install a fence to restrict the contamination uh, from leaking to the ocean. Now officially it said, because it's gonna cost a billion dollars. But the reason it wasn't created is because you can't stop radiation. So put 200 man-made atoms on the head of a needle, 200 million, and you can't see it. How do you filter something like, how do you filter one of them? Or 200 million of them, see? Well, you can't. You, you actually can't filter it. Well, you can, but it's, you need a whole system of filters, like an absurd amount, and be locked down. And your walls have to be six feet thick because it can penetrate easily through four feet and, and pound you with gamma shines, x-rays, neutrons, and everything else. And the ice wall is not meeting expectations. Can't make the temperature low enough to freeze water. Why, why would you build an ice wall and admit that it won't stop the groundwater. Why would you build an ice wall rather than a real wall? Because, you know, it's still not going to work 100% because you ain't got no bottom and it's got no top. And when you build a wall around a place and you're pouring water on it, you have liquefaction, which makes the whole site unstable. It's like a swamp all of a sudden, right? It's like porridge. And you create more problems you can handle. But they, they built an ice wall with 260,000 people, they say. And that the money they had, when you divided 260,000 people into the money allocated to it, it worked out to $1,100 each if you don't build any walls. 
They should have built an ice wall around Fuk around Japan, basically, and put a top on it and a bottom on it too. The map of radioactive iodine, and they love doing that to you, where the Americans flew a plane a thousand feet above the ground, and they were looking at three million becquels per square meter from a thousand feet up. Because you can only pound through a piece of paper, right? A piece of paper can block it, right? Is what they like to tell you. And they won't mention all the other isotopes, which is, which is. <laughs> so like they admit to this being, and, and they abandon all the communities eventually. And they took 14 million one-ton bags in Futabar or Akuma and are cutting them open, dumping them in the soil a couple of miles from the meltdown, two miles from the meltdown, a couple of kilometers away from the meltdowns that are ongoing, and cut the bags open. They're growing food in it in a nuclear wasteland, surrounded by nuclear wastelands, with soil picked up from the nuclear wasteland. Uh, let's keep rolling. Engineers saved nuclear plant from meltdown shares leadership lessons. Now he's talked, this is a diny, this particular conversation. Now they claimed, and the story changes a lot. I noticed over the years, they like to change the story up, make it interesting or uninteresting, who knows. When people hear Fukushima, they think of the earthquake tsunami, of course, because that's at the front of every sentence, that caused C-A-U-S-E-D, and that story is at the front of every original story. Because you don't want to blame nuclear, right? You've got to blame it on something else first. But it doesn't matter because it melted down. So blame doesn't matter anymore. It happened. Story of how uh, Nahiro Masuda, former site manager of the sister plant, the Fukushima Daini, which is 10 kilometers south, uh, exact replica, averted a similar disaster, is now a prominent crisis management study. And this picture is the Daini plant. This is at the same height as the Fukushima. And they're going to claim that they restored power, turned the power back on, and the pumps started working again, and everything was normal. But the pumps were all disabled. The turbine buildings were disabled. There was no way to do something like that. So it's 100% propaganda. After team assessed the dynamite, she realized the only way to save the three reactors was to connect them to a building nearby that still had power. There was no building nearby that had power. Power was torn off the coastline. I'll show you. Hang on a second. I actually thought about this the other day. Here's the original. The, I think this is the first week model of the tsunami. And in red, it was very high, 1,300 miles of the coastline. It went up to 10 kilometers inland. Now, the tsunami itself ran right through the plant. The earthquake was right off that shore, about 60 kilometers out, and 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers deep or something. Right off that, right off that plant, straight out from there. The water coming in is from a tsunami. It's a tsunami. It rips all the infrastructure of that entire site. Not maybe. This thing is coming in at hundreds of miles per hour originally, right? After a national call for aid, they obtained a massive electrical cable extending more than five miles, five miles. So there's not a building close by. They're talking five miles away. Each section of the cable was 650 feet long and weighed 22,000 pounds, 2,200 pounds, I think, in Japan as a metric. The task would typically take a month with specialized equipment. It would take a month. They had 24 hours. 
but a team and that you don't identify, whether it was 10, 10,000, what it was, by the 50, what a plant the actually was responding to the third explosion, all of the dining systems, cooling system were back online. All of the dining systems were back online by March the 15th. And this apparently is them running the cable that's going to power the plant that was submerged. That was submerged with the ocean continuously wiping out the whole coastline. There's nothing going to survive. There's no infrastructure that's going to be usable after something like that happens. Not only that, uh, hang on. Picture tells a thousand words, but can I find the right picture? That's the question of this year. Where do I even look for it? Okay, I think I know, I think I know, I think I know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know. Give me one more chance, see. Because I got all the pictures. It's just not something that... Oh. Try that, hang on one second. Yeah, and it was really interesting how secretive they've been about the Donny plant, isn't it? I'm never going to find that. Let me see if we can get it over here. Holy shit, I got so much crap on my computer. Oh my God. Let's keep going. We'll never find it in all this pile. So another way of looking at it is the dining. Hang on. That I can find. Boop, boop, boop. Here we go. A dining. Almost. There we go. Typical president, let's go backwards, mentioned an accident at the Fukushima Daini, not just the Diachi. They're decommissioning the Daini. They never tried to restart anything. 100 miles from Fukushima, there was another leak too, by the way, from another spent fuel pool at two reactors. Um, this was a, f um, was the following quakes from the massive quake, right? Smoke seen rising from another nuclear plant 10 kilometers away. That's the, the Downey plant we're talking about. And typical president apologizes for the accident at the Downey, not just the Diachi. So this is quite a ways away from the plant. This is Miyagi. This is not right directly in front of the earthquake and the tsunami when the tsunami came ashore, like the, like the Daini and the Diachi. And there's been employees from the Daini plant that have wrote books, called it a meltdown, crack containments and all. To manually restore power to reactor cooling systems. Like, there's no restoring power. You don't restore power because... I'm going to try one more time. Just... Who knows? 
songs. Yeah, let's keep it rolling. Rolling. But it really upset me how blatant the lies actually are. It's absurd anyway. There's another way to tell it. So you see this, they built this contraption. They haven't got all the panels on it yet, but you see below it, there's no building left and, and the piece that's left. Now this doesn't physically touch the stump of reactor four. And paper suits means you're probably gonna die some of the next oil from that kind of exposure. But officially at the top of the building that no longer exists, it looks like that. That's the official picture of that building. But hey, you know, they, they ran a cable for five miles and then went in and, and, and mopped up the floor and connected power. You believe that, then there's no hope for humanity. <clears throat> but that's their story, and they're, they've been saying it for 12 years almost. Now the Fukushima water release is not going to kill the Pacific. Well, I showed the documentation early, it killed the Pacific, for sure. Nigel Marks, we've covered that creature before, and Brendan Kennedy, we covered those creatures before. They're from uh, Curtin University and the Australia National University out there blatantly lying to you about radiation. These are the heads, the professors at the universities stabbing you in the back um, today. So what kind of society do we actually have when that's the norm? The professor is going to teach your kids, he's going to stab everybody in the back to protect an industry. <clears throat> Could geothermal solve the energy crisis sooner than fusion and small modular reactors that do not exist? Dana, that's a terrible, you can't have poles like that, Dana. That's an insult to the nuclear industry. <sighs> la, 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 la. Now the Fukushima water release is not going, no, the water release is not going to kill the Pacific. But Nigel, and Brendan, from well, you don't you don't really blame them, even though they're a part. Of, you know, they, I mean, they're the they're the face of the universities, but it's the universities that is allowing it to happen. So all, all of them should lose their degrees for making the statements that they made. And Japan Authority preparing to release the treat of water, and you got to use the word treat it. And Australia is just vehemently pro-nuclear, hideously, robotically, zombie pro-nuclear. There's, there, every time we talk about Australia, and the same with the United Kingdom, corruptive, fraudulent universities and institutions and media, it's swindling, right? It's fraudulent. It's lawless. That's what nuclear industry is. It's lawless. It's shady is being, and not even tricky, just because they're just regurgitating the same lies for 80 years. It's egregious, it's, it's, um, it's indefensible, it's inexcusable, unforgivable, intolerable, embarrassing, it's humiliating that a university where you're gonna send your kids is willing, the professors willing to degrade, low down, hateful, uh, bending the knee for the universities, get on one knee and kiss the ring and lie and jeopardize humanity. Is, a, is that what a professor is supposed to do? Jeopardize humanity? So at kids, they were probably setting cats on fire, right? I grew up, I'm gonna be a professor. But that this, these are these were either been serial killers or professors. There's so many of them. They're brilliantly smart, and hideously, insatiably evil. 
One academic publication claimed, well, the majority of them will, right? Global social welfare costs could exceed 200 billion from further contamination. So they, they want to downplay every facet of it. The government, International Atomic Energy Agency, the independent scientists declared the plan released to be reasonable and safe, but the International Atomic Energy Agency is not a regulatory agency. They don't have authority. They're just part of the military industrial complex known as United Nations, which is 195 militaries. Based on their collective professional experience in nuclear science, nuclear power reached the same conclusion assessments based on the type of radioactivity which they're claiming is um, tritium. And then using independent oversight from the International Atomic Energy Agency, which is just the military industrial complex disguised as an agency. Just like, the, like they, got un, they got created UNICEF and every school child used to get a UNICEF box each year to send money to UN UN would buy weapons and ships with it. But uh, they take you through so many lies, so many lies, the, the ELPS system can be repeated until concentrations are below regulatory limits. No, like, this doesn't exist. You can't do that with radiation. Because, like, when you put, if you radiate the filter, and then you take the radioactive water, disconnect it, put pure water through the filter, it'll be just vicious doses coming out the other side, because that's what radiation does. So saying tritium, these are professors. These are supposed to be people you can turn to. These institutions, right, you know, the, the, the Hollywood media, has painted you a picture that they have some redeeming qualities. They don't they don't? So they're saying the total amount of tritium from a thousand tanks would be three grams. Would be three grams. And the ocean radioactivity, is, they say, is mostly due to potassium. Now I've heard this from a lot of universities. That just over the years, at least a thousand universities told us this exact same narrative. You can't make a dirty bomb out of potassium. Like, they have football fields pitches full, you know, in mine sites of potassium. People work there all day. They don't, you, you know, if you see a truck of bananas overturned, you're going to evacuate your community. To equate it with potassium, there's zero possibility they don't know what they're doing. And it's zero possibility that they are not evil. Zero. And they're in charge of your children. They're raping and everything else. Your children is what they're doing. To get grades. They're that, they're that, they're that devious that they're willing to come out and lie to humanity for a paycheck. What do you think they're going to do to your children in school? To compare it and, you know, potassium, they say, is an essential element for life. But the stuff from a nuclear meltdown is not essential for your life. Right? The, the stuff from these meltdowns, these, you can't go to the lethal doses. So they equate it as essential element for life, potassium, and put it in, conflate it, put it in the conversation of nuclear dumping, which has never stopped. I just, why is Australia extra evil, I wonder? The nuclear industry. Because they're, they're extra evil all the time. Like they go, they're like the Britain, British, they go out of their way to be evil in the nuclear industry. Right? They go out of their way to be evil. And, and we see that all the time with professors. But the British and the Australian scientists, and the Canadians, of course, but the British and uh, Australia in particular, those two, they stand out, heads and tails above the rest of the scumbag nuclear industry. 
Like they're, they're loon it's like what kind of personality they gotta look for that personality to hire him to be a professor for starters, right? They need someone that is ruthless, that is capable of just hideous crimes against humanity. You say, perfect. He's a functioning psychopath. Let's move on because I can get <laughs> a little worked up sometimes. And Japan quake caused 400 kilometers seismic slip. I released in centuries of paint up energy caused by two tectonic plates. So that's a bigger estimate than the story we had covered last night. This data is from GPS's was 400 kilometers long and 200 kilometers wide. The one we covered last night was 300, wasn't it? Uh, long and uh, 200 kilometers wide. It's been upgraded to 400 kilometers wide tectonic plate slip. And that's why the tsunami covered so much territory, right? Content of radioactive elements in the fish story from today at Fukushima nuclear power plant was 18,000 beckles a kilogram. 18,000 beckles. And they had some more goodies for us. So it was 1.8 E to 0.04. It was 18,000 beckles per kilogram. And this chart here was stunning. This chart here was, oh no. Look what you're up to. Screwed that up. Bear with me. Uh, so, am I too? So, Japan's current limit for food, uh, this, even though the stories are from the day, this is from 2012. Best story we're covering is from today, this story here. But this one, what they're referring to is all the way back to 2012, April the 1st. So vegetables, grains, meat, and eggs, you're allowed to have 500 beckles a kilogram. And drinking water is 200 beckles, dairy milk. Infants food at 50. You hate for what a hateful industry. How are we ever gonna have a future? We can't have a future. They got our future now destroyed. Direct humanity, direct the species, direct uh, every facet, the uh, oxygen on the planet. Compromised the uh, drinking water of the entire planet. There's zero po and, and like there's zero possibility at the time we're only seizing him again. The ultimate insult is when they talk about seizing him. That's the ultimate insult, by the way. New scale joins Rolls Royce and Bill Gates in a race to build a UK nuclear reactor. But like the, you can't build something that don't exist. And the, the nuclear industries from that state up in Oregon, because there's a lot of them there based out of Oregon, I've dealt with them a lot over the years. They're f disgusting scum. 
the furthest thing from a human you'll ever talk to these people. I know because I talked to them. They, they stalked me and harassed me for years. New global renewable capacity additions to rise by a third this year. And we covered that on Sunday and Monday. And I even talked about it a little earlier. This year, they're expecting 440 gigawatts of renewables. Last year, they had 291 gigawatts, which is equal to 333 nuclear power plants coming online in 12 months. This year, it's over 440 nuclear power plants where the renewables coming online. So equal to several thousand of new scales reactors coming online in 12 months. New scale couldn't do that in, in the next thousand years, you know, because they don't exist. They've been at this for 50 years. They've been at it for 50 years. And geothermal is everywhere. Has it waited a long time for policymakers and politicians to notice it? That's where we're going to pull it. Out. Should we notice it? Should we notice that geothermal could solve energy crisis sooner than something that don't exist, like fusion and small modular reactors? And the small modular reactor stories, they come in these waves every week or three weeks or something like that. All kinds of media will run out and go, oh, they're so cute. And then that they disappear for another week or three weeks. It's a disgusting cult that have taken over our planet. And they, but they need us to make everything work, right? They, barely, they can barely contain their contempt for animals and birds and insects, but they can't contain their contempt for humans at all. They barely do it for the species. So created. What a circus that's turned into since they got a new president, isn't it? The first thing he'd done was went to the nuclear power plant and got his picture taken when he was elected. <laughs> you got to go prove you're a scumbag right away. The ruling party must stop treating concerns about Fukushima water dumping as baseless rumors. Oh, well, there you go. Hang on a second. And you do get these random descending opinions showing up. It's very, it's very unusual, by the way. And this is the editorial. But 85% of Koreans opposing the move by Japan of dumping water, the tritium into the ocean, which is like they haven't stopped dumping it for 12 years, but the propaganda is so effective that everybody's like, what, they're going to dump tritium into the ocean? Yeah, because all the media wants you to get think about tritium instead of all the other isotopes. It's, it's, uh, it's humiliating. Ought to be working to assure the safety of the public, the ruling party should. So they're buying into the tritium too. So right, this is a false narrative to keep the devoid, to keep people from thinking, well, what about uranium and plutonium? What about, what about it's already happened? What about it's more than tritium? The, the tritium fable is just mind boggling. I mean, we've been watching it play out for the last number of years, and now it's coming to the big moment, right? There, and that's why you got me censored so much, because Really soon, they're going to announce to start dumping, and then everybody will come out and cry, and, and they'll probably say, well, okay, we decided we're not going to dump and store it. And the whole world will celebrate and said, we stopped the ocean from being polluted. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. So Korea ruling people, power parties, accusing the opposition of spreading unfounded rumors about the releases of contaminated water from Japan's Fukushima plant. Like they haven't stopped releasing it. They haven't stopped releasing it. That's the problem. And so they got everybody perfectly devoid, and anybody that's in the know is silenced or is silent. 
and I'm heartbroken. I'm absolutely gutted because I've been out during the research expeditions and I don't have any illusions. I don't run myself into the ground all day, every day because I have an illusion. Everything I talk about, everything I show you is based on incontestable facts. This is uh, another model of the plume we don't show too often. And this is 20 days right here. And watch that plume when it hits Hawaii. Hawaii is right here, right? But you'll see the plume split when it hits Hawaii. That's a great touch, isn't it? I had it going too slow for you. So when it hits Hawaii, it actually splits. Let me go backwards and see it. See drag, see how, oh, right there. Watch how it drags the plume. And then eventually it's just one great big stupid plume. That's, tw that's 21 days right here. The problem is the plume covers the whole planet after 19 days. The consensus is typically around 20 days. It covers the whole planet. But officially, according to them, and they're, and they're going to cause this divide saying there's no radiation got out, everything is in the tanks. But, it's, but it can't be in the tanks. But it's very slick, right? It's very, uh, I shouldn't use the word slick. That implies something with redeeming qualities, kind of, but... Uh, this industry has no redeeming qualities. And they invoked the International Atomic Energy Agency to authorize the discharge. Well, they're not a regulatory agency. They don't have any authority. They can't authorize nothing. But they're, it's like you go and watch the old movies from, say, 1947 on. You'll see the United Nations in a lot of those movies. It's like, I mean, it's really something when you go back and watch the 50s, 60s, 70s movies. And particularly when it comes to war, you'll see them invoking United Nations. A lot of movies will be based upon United Nations declarations and everything else. And so they were given authority. They were knighted rulers of the of the biosphere, so to speak, when really they're just a bunch of criminal, just a criminal organization connected directly to the weapons production facilities. And it's 195 militaries. They buy their weapons from the same place for both sides of the wars. Most of the public opposes discharge of the tritium from Fukushima. So, like, the whole argument is a straw man argument based up on hyperbole, based up, well, based up actually on lies. Havana Times. Protest mounts, because this is artificial. This is to drown out people like me. They don't have a lot of opposition, by the way. I don't know if they have any, do they? There's no media. What I mean by that is media universities out there trying to educate the population. Go, wait a second. What are you talking about tritium for? Have we, have we ever seen any of that after all these years? So the dangerous radionuclides we're talking about this week, the UN International Atomic Energy Agency signed off on the planned release of the, the wastewater. If a terrorist does it, it's called a dirty bomb. If they do it, it's called wastewater. And a terrorist can never, oh, oh, look at this. Anybody recognize this guy? Wade Allison? What a disgusting parasite. He's, re he's, he's on a book tour in South Korea, and uh, the nuclear industry, the uh, Curie, 
which is the nuclear industry in South Korea, distant themselves from Wade Allison, a former, well, he's an emeritus professor, a former professor from Oxford, a nuclear expert, a nuclear teacher. Uh, he's disgusting. I actually done two videos, should Wade Allison's students get their money back and have to go to school again? And they got taken down with no explanations eventually. But that was interesting that the Korean Atomic Energy Agency Research Institute, government-funded research institute, issued a disclaimer Friday, distancing themselves from a controversial comment made by Oxford University, Wade Allison. A safety Fukushima wastewater two weeks ago. The press release said that the treated water is not, is not safe enough to drink, and the professor's statement that he would drink many liters of the water does not in any way represent the view of the South Korean Nuclear Institute. So that's an interest. That's a bizarre statement that they would actually go against a hateful scumbag like Wade Allison who should be on death row for what he's done. Allison is a British physicist, emeritus professor of physics, and fellow of Keeble College of Oxford University. He said he would drink as much as 10 liters of Fukushima water. He was uh, in Korea for a book tour, and the author of Nuclear is for Life, a cultural revolution and the radiation reason the impact of science on a culture of fear. These are brutal propaganda books. He's put on a book tour. I can't even get a publish, publish, publishers to look at my books on Fukushima. I can guarantee it's not for lack of trying on top of that. That he would issue a press release informing the public that the wastewater should be not be consumed since its radioactivities safe limits exceed the levels allowed in drinking water. This was the South Korean rebuttal, right? The president of South Korea's nuclear industry come out and denounce Wade Allison. Here, here. Mass murdering, genocidal Wade Allison. So what hope is there for humanity when humanity has creatures like this to deal with all the time? I don't know to answer that question, but it's not very good, I can assure you. The government turns a blind eye to lessons from nuclear disasters, editorial. And this again was almost a descending voice. The lessons learned from 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster have been taken so lightly. The government and the majority of the diet from Japan are heavily responsible for pushing through a reversal of the nation's nuclear policy without careful deliberation, shifting from a reduction of, independent, of dependence on nuclear power and heading to its maximum utilization. We must keep asking ourselves whether we can solve the many difficult problems plaguing nuclear disease factories and whether they can end up haunting future generations. Well, that's already established. I'm drinking, my apologies. 
This week, a bill related to promoting nuclear disease factories was passed by the Diet. The government's responsibility and measures aimed at the active utilization are stipulated in Atomic Energy's basic law. <laughs> that all nuclear, all professors must bow down and kiss the ring. Nuclear plants are plagued with a mountain of issues. With the ever in growing nuclear waste, Japan's nuclear fuel cycle. The nuclear fuel cycle, you, like, how many times have you heard that terminology? Because it's not about nuclear power plants, it's about a nuclear fuel cycle. Once it goes through the cycle, now they have plutonium for bombs. That's what it's all about. That's what that means. It's unacceptable for the government to reverse its stance to restarting nuclear disease factories without showing a path to solving the problem. Hey, you know, why not do geothermal? Like, Japan is probably the best spot in the world for geothermal. Why is it necessary to treat them differently than other energies? Because the industry is so evil They're going to have to face the key, these realities sooner or later in the government. Well, it'll be different administrations. They'll be retired, drinking margaritas in some foreign country, yucking it up. This is nuts. European power prices go negative as springtime renewable soars. Fin was it Finland turned on a nuclear power plant after uh, 12 years behind schedule? And during that 12 years, they produce so much renewables, they don't need nuclear very often. <laughs> it came back and haunted them over and over and over. And like four times over budget, 12 years past the turn on date, and still not working, right? Better radiological images with half the radiation. I only need to look at his face and I can tell that that's not somebody you want to be trusting your loved ones with. Right, this industry, you, like you can't be a good person and work in this industry because you're, you're going to quit, right? That'll disrupt it or, or you might you might start waking up those that you're working with. A rare Higgs boson decay observed in a large hadron collider experiment. Ooh, this is exciting. Could one day even change our understanding so everything in the universe works? Well, it won't really matter because we'll all be dead from 80 years of radioactive emissions, right? It's still pretty cool, I think. According to Churn, oh, well, there goes that. <laughs> You're not going to trust them. This delay could provide indirect evidence of the existence of the particles beyond those predicted by the standard model. So they, they have these functional savants once in a while comes to the universities, and they never leave, basically. And they're the ones that will crack you know, certain mathematical equations. It's not the industries, it's not the current generations of people. It's just these random autism, functional autism individuals like uh, Edward Witten. Right, he's, he's the final word right now in a lot of this stuff. And I love the guy, but uh, I doubt if he's got a driver's license, let's put it that way. But you, you can tell he went to university and he just never left. He, he was dysfunctional. He, he, he only fitted in that environment. And there is, right, a small group of people. And they're not going to be having cocktail parties. Let's put it that way. I'm sure where to find the nuclear fuel rods for the radiated waters missions in Moore Zone 2. How to complete irradiated waters. I don't know if it's good or bad, where you got these video games using Geiger counters and you got to go and do missions and everything else, or they're, or they're trying to prep them for future jobs. Who knows? You got to go in a nuclear wasteland and get this. Bringing a Geiger counter into the Kochi complex. 
just the weirdest story imaginable. And how private profits are driving defense spending. My God, that's pretty scary looking right there. I got a creature on the right from Britain. You got whatever the frig that is in the center. This, there is some like conspiracies out there that says he's a clone. I don't believe in clones until I see Joe. Then I car Let's keep going. It's never going to get better. Speak of the devil, the Australian website, Crikey, transported two clients of America's subsidies will benefit from greatly, these are the military industrial complexes, from the AUKUS defense pact between the US, UK, and Australia. Well, half of the money that they're going to spend on the submarines is enough to pay for geothermal for everybody in Australia. End of energy problem forever after that, right? All the bills, because, you know, like, Half your bills, a lot of the times, are going to be on energy for certain times of the year. For, you know, people that don't have much, right? It transpires that two clients, the American subsidies will benefit. Uh, just done that there. General Dynamics is a lead contractor for constructing the U.S. Navy's fleet. The other company, Citrus Energy. Sounds like a drink, don't it? Is, 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 is nasty Kool-Aid, if it is, is the leading provider of nuclear fuel for the U.S. national security purposes and for Navy reactors. You can imagine how evil that, that vein goes. These two firms are created are essential to building of Australia's new fleet of Virginia-class nuclear... You can't, like, what's the point of nuclear submarines? You can't use them. Yeah, you can have them. Don't put nuclear weapons on them. Just put empty nuclear weapons. You're not like you're going to use it. And then, you know, with the random accidents and sinkings and explosions, it's more likely that'll kill the planet in a war. The new military-industrial complex which is UN, by the way, is, is the actual military industrial complex. Complex will shower hundreds of billions of dollars over well-connected firms and individuals involved. And I, so it creates an obvious incentive for spooking the public about the military threat posed by China, which is appropriate, really, right? That's how, that's how they do it, right? North Korea is going to get you. But North Korea was imprisoned by Japan for 50 years, and after Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they were imprisoned by the United Nations now for 70-something years. So 120-something years of being slaves. They've never attacked anybody. But they're going to get you. But uh, this is how they justify putting all these nuclear weapons in South Korea and all these you know, uh, ships and aircrafts, and, and that consumes all of your resources in the country, and all your monetary and your, and your precious metals and your precious resources get wasted on this destructive industrial complex. Growing excitement over fusion energy. What are you talking about? Oh, for venture capitalists. Because they need big money, so they got to look at venture capitalists. They're not going to get the money back. This is why we got a poll tonight, by the way. Could geothermal solve the energy crisis sooner than fusion and small modular reactors that don't actually exist? And they've been trying for 50 years, and no closer now than they were 50 years ago. And it won't be used, fusion won't be used for energy. Right, the breakthrough on the alleged breakthrough, I should say, disclaimer, because it's Los Alamos National Laboratory. 
this, this, uh, the, what he had that breakthrough was uh, the military industrial complex's weapons facility. It's got nothing to do with energy. They're, 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 they're conflating energy, right, to bring in monetary from the system. It's an easy way to steal it. The chairman of the UK Atomic Energy Authority. <laughs> That's the biggest joke imaginable, isn't it? Don't they have a nuclear czars down there now, too? The world has made more progress in developing reliable ideas for fusion. Reliable ideas. Reliable ideas. <laughs> Nuclear is so disgusting, man. But it makes me laugh sometimes. Hailed as a clean energy game changer, because otherwise you wouldn't even look at it. It's actually a weapon. It's designing... The energy we're talking about is perfect for weapons. You're burning something at 300, 300 million degree Fahrenheit temperatures. And so if it gets out of control, it's going to be a bad out of control. It's going to atomize everything around it. And it doesn't, you say, oh, well, it can shut off in a few seconds, Dana. Yeah. You know how, how uh, quick the explosions are? They're like one millionth of a second. So it's got millions of opportunities to go bang. This is how I see it. Fusion generated nearly four million times more energy than using coal, oil, and gas, and four times more than fission. Unfortunately, it didn't. It doesn't exist. But lying is second nature to these people. That's like a second, second language. And that one is their first. It's like they have two languages, and that's their first language is lying. So the latest breakthrough announced in December 2022, the first fusion reaction in a laboratory setting produced more energy it took to start the reaction. No, well, that's not true. Three years, in 2020, they had a breakthrough where they produced more energy to put in. And they said it was equal to a 9-volt battery. But you're talking about something at 300 million degree Fahrenheit temperatures. So how do you extrapolate that you produced an extra amount of energy for a 9-volt battery when just the static electricity from something like that would be equal to multiple Tesla cars? So then the next year, they had another breakthrough at 300 million... 300 million degree Fahrenheit temperatures, or Celsius, I can't remember. They produced enough energy to boil an extra 56 jugs, uh, liters of w kettles of water. So how many kettles of water can you boil at 300 million degree Fahrenheit temperatures? First off, because nobody's ever put that out there and then quantify that there was enough, you produce enough energy to boil 56 kettles of water, which are one liter kettles. So you had enough, of the, the year before that, you had enough extra energy to power a nine volt battery, like you're using your fire extinguisher that has americium 241 in it. Well, there's not very much in there, Dana. Yeah, but there's billions of them. So billions and not very much is a lot. And that gets burnt up in incinerators all over the world because it's that same amount, by the way, during pre-Gulf War in Iraq and Afghanistan, that much americium-241 that they have in your fire extinguisher, if that was found in the battlefields or uh, the military was supposed to build a 900-foot fence around it, 12 feet high, that was covered in international symbols of danger for radiation. Not remove it, but build a 900-foot, three-football field pitch of fence 12 feet high around it and leave it there forever. Now it's in your uh, smoke detector.
Uh, Future of Energy, Hinkley Point C progress towards final stages of undersea work. The amount of material that you're looking at, this is just a crop shot. This is just a fraction of the site, by the way. But look at their, look at their resources. It's mind boggling, the resources. There's enough cement there to build a sidewalk to Rome from the United Kingdom. La 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 la. Ule Gifnitcha. Fear me, Laporte. Hinkley Point. First new reactor for more than 30 years. 500 ton reactor pressure vessel. Every piece of material used is inspected three times. It's a million pounds just for the pressure vessel of the best high strength steel they can find on the entire planet. The amount of energy, the amount of gas, oil and coal they burnt to make this high strength steel is stunning. And, and the site is just unbelievable amount of resources. Ay, 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 ay. Let me try that again. One more time. Oop, did I get it? Oh, baby. You'll run all the wall, believe it. There we go. So they call this carbon free. Crazy. So look at the resources. Try to wrap your mind around. Now try spotting a human besides me in that picture. And you're talking about so much. You're talking about try spawning a car in this or a human in this picture. It's mind boggling what we're talking about. The resources that they use to build this is the biggest construction project on planet ever, apparently. And it's It's unbelievable, and like what they've done offshore for the water intake intake pipes are unprecedented materials and sizes, and just little sections. So when you when you see a little section, think about just in the short range, and when you look at the big picture, multiply it endlessly. And everything has to be the best of the best. Every wire, every 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 piece of cement, every piece of steel has to be inspected multiple times. And they're out there calling that carbon free. It needs two external plants just to run all of this equipment. It needs two gas, oil, and coal plants for 15 or 20 years to build it to run it for its lifetime and for 60 to 100 years to decommission it. Look, look how much it, it's actually got two dedicated gas, oil, or coal plants dedicated to it. That's not, even that still is not the best part, or the most shocking part to me. The shocking part to me is when you look in the background, it's surrounded by farms. Surrounded by farms, because only farms matter. So when you look in the background, it's nothing but farms. And we already know this site, we have better pictures of it, but they've been doing this already for 60 years, 
you can't contain the radiation at these sites. And so it ends up in the farms. That's the idea of the farms and the ocean right alongside of it. It's just nuclear data. Don't take it as personal. Mm -hmm. I still moving a chunk out. 500 tons is a million pounds. High strength steel. The cost now is estimated to be 32 billion, 33 billion euros or British pounds, is it? A scab, man. You had the world's biggest crane there for years. The, the, just, the steel liner ring is 304 tons. The cooling water system will supply the nuclear disease factory at a rate of 120,000 liters a second. <laughs> it's a stunning number. A second is 60 seconds in a minute. So that's uh, 7.2 million liters a minute. Each glass, there's four glasses in a liter. Each glass got a billion creatures. 75 to 100 million of each glass is the phytoplankton, the base is the food chain, the base is the oxygen chain, the base is the carbon sequestering chain. And the other 900 mi million creatures or eggs and larvae, and it's going to boil uh, 28 million glasses a minute. So 28 million times a billion creatures every minute. Eggs and larvae and everything else. One great big stupid, and then surrounded by farms. Takes to like when you look at nuclear, nuclear takes evil to a whole different level. The militaries are pretty hideous, right? They got nothing on nuclear for the carnage they're going to wreck, and it's so inperceivable for the average person because you can't see it, or smell it, or hear it, or feel it, or touch it, or taste it, or pick it up, or throw rocks at it. Network of uh, geothermal power stations could help level up the United Kingdom. Well, yeah, we actually got a poll tonight now that you happen to mention it. Could geothermal stop the energy crisis sooner than fusion and small modular reactors that do not exist? It's not a problem, Lee. It's yes, there's no other answer. Caitlin Rios meets the pro. Oh, God, what is this? I wonder. Her favorite accomplishment so far was finishing her training months before she was expected. Oh, teacher's pet, eh? I'm proud of how fast I have progressed in my role. We have our initial training, which usually takes about a year. I was able to compete it in nine months. The Ener Energy Nuclear's Nuclear Excellent Model. That's the favorite value. Her favorite value of Entergy's, you know, Entergy, right? Nuclear's Nuclear Excellent model. Nuclear's nuclear excellence model. I like that. It's, well, I've been learning and enhancing my understanding of my role. Everyone at my team has asked how they can help me. While I was practicing for my oral, each member sat aside for an hour, set aside an hour of their day or week to quiz me. And the support I'd gotten from my team of scumbags and with people outside of my team of scumbags has been amazing. I can't wait to grow up and be a scumbag toe. 
Outside of work, she likes long walks and running outside and photography and nature because it'll be gone soon because of nuclear. And when possible, she visits her large family and, and pretends she's a big shot working for the nuclear industry. Whoever wrote that was probably a public relation firm from the nuclear industry. Texas A&M gives all clear after bomb threats. There's a funny story. Uh, one of the threats, one of the threats against the nuclear magnetic renaissance facility And the media went hog wild with it. Of course, there's no bomb. They just wanted more money, right? These places, one big dirty bomb as it is. A code maroon alert says the on campus residents were evacuated. A second separate alert was sent at 2 p.m., stating more evacuations were taking place following a bomb threat against the school's nuclear facility. That was just a professor who couldn't make it back to class because in the hotel room of one of the students and needed a cover story. You kind of lose faith in humanity when you see stuff like this because the nuclear industry has now destroyed everybody's future. Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant receives a five-year extension. Not 10 years, not 15 or 20, but five years. It's not supposed to be open, right? And they, like, well, they got to leave it open because there's nothing to replace it. But they had tons of time. They knew it was time was coming down. They could have built geothermal or something to replace it. No. Nope. So when it comes time to shut it down, they're like, well, there's nothing to replace it. Yeah, there's some, we put some wind and solar, but there's no storage, so got to have nuclear. You know how it is. No offense. That's what they're doing. We cover it all the time. What else is new in the world, Dana? Never stops, does it? Proxima Fusion raises funds for fusion plant development. How many, how many stories like that we've actually covered over the last decade alone? Look at the scumbags all gathered up. Look at us, we're special. We're so special. Munich based startup, Proxima Fusion says it's completed its pre seed fundraising of 7.5 million. No wonder they're all smiling and laughing and looking like scumbags at the air. Oh, by the way, the fundraising is co-led by Plural and UVC partners and joined by the high-tech Grundon Fog and the Wilby Group. So these are other scumbags now we've got to put on our watch list of scumbags. Doesn't stop there, unfortunately. It's a spinner from the Max Planck Institute for Plasma Physics. Right, because we've covered them before. There's so many of them, you can't keep up with them anymore. The startup was founded by former scientists, because they're scumbags permanently now, so they can't be a scientist, for the Max Planck, IPP, MIT, and Google X. And Google X. Wow. Dirtbags. Stillerator, which sounds like something out of a, a beer drinking excursion of frat boys, was the original design for a fusion device created by Lehman Spicer at Princeton in 1951. Well, the original design is actually based upon the 1904 paper. None of them come up with a new idea since. So they just stole the one from 1904. And they're, and they're doing the same thing with small modular reactors. They're doing the exact same thing. Which is why we got a poll tonight. Could geothermal solve the energy crisis sooner than fusion and small modular reactors that don't exist? 
But of course, Dana, magic. It's magic. Yeah, it's magic. Yeah. How are we doing here? New scale, back to small modular reactors or fusions. It never stops, does it? New scale power to participate in June 2023 investor conference. So they're all out there raising, and they're raising millions and millions and millions each time they try. Which is what we got to pull, by the way. Is new scale or the small modular reactors of fusion that don't exist going to solve the problem? Or could geothermal solve the energy crisis? sooner than something that don't exist. I don't know, we'll have to ask the scientists, Dana. We gotta make sure he's pro-nuclear first though. But otherwise Google's gonna censure you, right? Today announced that its management is scheduled to conduct one-on-one -on -one small group meetings with institutional investors. Several, these are used Department of Energy and stuff like that are funding a lot of it. What Canada does is it starts up companies, then gives the company 10 or $15 million, then the companies give the money to the startups, and then the company dissolves. And then, well, no, the government didn't do it. China suspends plan to build floating nuclear reactors in the South China Sea. Well, that's something rational for a change. There's gotta be a typo. That can't be real. And this, this is what they foresaw, all these nuclear floating reactors and these ports. And look, they even got like, look at the pounds that they're using where it's sealed off. <laughs> nuclear is something else, isn't it? It's hard to be... It's just... It's just evil is just so natural to these people. They don't even try to be evil. It's just, it's, that's who they are. That's who their parents and their parents, they all work for nuclear industry. It comes natural. Small and advanced reactors, 2024 calls for paper. Nuclear Engineering International, they've never put their name on. I don't think, I think there was one story in the last decade where they put their name on it. They're a nuclear lobbying group. They get first page on Google all the time, by the way. They put out a story it's right at the top of the first page of Google. The fourth annual Small Vance Reactor Conference is going live, hosted by Nuclear Engineering International, the, which are a faceless organization. The event will take place on the 7th of March today at the Hilton Garden Inn on Snake River, which is appropriate, in Idaho Falls, Idaho, US of A. The key calendar event for small modular reactors and advanced reactor community will explore Aspects of this emerging market where nothing exists. This is like the greatest Ponzi scheme in human history, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> uh, Capturing of tritium tainted water reaches 53% at the Monticello nuclear disease factory. <laughs> That's such a bizarre story. They, they had a leak. They said a tritium pipe broke, but there's no, there's no pipes at a nuclear plant that transport tritium. It doesn't exist. And they had to shut down the reactor, they said, to fix it. So this is a high pressure pipe. The only thing that's in the high pressure pipe is everything. All the uranium, plutonium, curium, americium, neptunium. There's no such thing as a tritium. So four months later, they come out and they said, by the way, we forgot to mention that we uh, had an accident and four months ago. 
and, and uh, there was 400,000 liters, 1.2 million, or 1.6 million, for, uh, 400,000 gallons, rather, 1.6 million liters that escaped of tritium, but there's no tritium pipes at a nuclear power plant. In fact, I've never heard of this much tritium at a, all the power plants, let alone one. And so four months later, they came out and said that. And so then they announced they were going to do testing of the water four months later. So they test the water, and the results came back uh, a few days later. They could have done that four months before, right? Anyway, so the, came back, everything was good. Very, very tiny amounts, nothing to worry about. It's like a potato. Like the potassium, you get out of the potato. It's normal, by the way, that's what they said. Everything's good. Now they updated, now they recovered 53% of the tritium tainted. Now it's tainted, it's not even tritiated water anymore, it's tritium tainted. Uh, again, right, like Fukushima time with tritium. They done that at Three Mile Island, by the way, too, right? They use that same narrative. Uh, all of them should be publicly prosecuted for what they're doing. And so, and the punishment should be most severe. Anybody who writes a story like that should be on death row for the rest of their life or until they pull the trigger and the gallows. The, the whole story is absurd. That's what makes it uh, fun. No, that's what nuclear is. The only thing nuclear is good at is lying. It's not good at anything else, not a single thing. The level of radioactive tainted water at Monticello Nuclear Disease Factory is improving after a tritium leak in 2022. Excel has made substantial progress in recovering the tritium tainted water that leaked into the ground. I gotta use the word leaked and tritium in the same sentence. It's just, I almost threw up in my mouth. At the nuclear power plant, according to the update from Excel, according to the, the perpetrators, the perps, Excel Energy, to the city of Monticello officials, that Excel provided to the Monticello Times. So, November 2022, four months later, they said, oh, shit, we forgot to mention we had a a leak. Yeah, how bad was it? Oh, it's around 10,045 gallon drums worth. Don't worry. The ground is frozen, so it didn't leave the site, and everything is downhill to the Mississippi, which is right just a few hundred feet away. It's contempt. It's contempt. And then a small spill of tritium over the weekend of May the 19th or 20th, and then they put that in the same conversation, but use it to confuse you. They're like, oh, it's only small. Oh, it's only tritium, Dana. Tritium, tritium's harmless, Dana. The, the scientists wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> scientists don't stop lying. It's so devious, I can't think of a, a worse crime than nuclear. He said five million pico curries, and so twenty six or twenty seven pico curries per liter. You want to divide it by twenty six or twenty seven? Yeah, I divided it by twenty seven, and it's one hundred eighty five thousand beckwells per liter. So think of each Beckwell as an atom pulsing energy. So if you've got a liter into you, you've got 185,000 um, explosions going off in your body every second. So 185,000 explosions pulsing energy at the speed of light. That's reckon the chromosomes, the DNA, the cells themselves, everything else, the organs, and permanent lesions on your organs, and Think about how much more vulnerable children and the species are to the same quantities. Okay, 
And so your body has to repair every one of them with white blood cells. Every, every, so each one that explodes, explodes in every direction. Now they're exploding almost at the speed of light. So when they hit each other, they don't mingle. They change direction at the speed, almost at the speed of light, which is a breaking effect. That creates an x-ray. Because when you got so much together, you're going to have this whole body x-ray going on. But they're only, they're only acknowledging, and I don't know why they would use pico curries. I'm not sure why they've done that. But it's 185,000 Beckwells per liter. This is brutal for children. Repair of Argentina's Atucha 2 nuclear disease factory to begin in June. In preparation, special tools have been designed and manufactured, and life-size training facility mock-up was built to train the personnel who will carry out the repairs. <laughs> We're going to do a life-size mock-up. Anybody who's going in that environment is getting brutal doses. You won't know it for a month or two, but a lot of it's going to be catastrophic. I can't take any more of this tonight. Hey, it's 12 o'clock. I can justify calling it a night and not have to go through another sentence of that story there. <laughs> It just boggles my mind how actual evil they are. A vibration was detected inside the reactor caused one of the four support spacers to fall to the bottom. These spacers are like wedges of to the bottom of the reactor and the repairs are estimated to cost two to four million. Two to four million. Well, a shit winter. We're supposed to have a good day tomorrow. What the? It's basically what they call Capelin weather. We're having foggy and winds from the north or northeast, which is cold winds here. And it's open sea winds, right? I, I desperately want to get back out on the ocean and look for species. We're going to be doing this all summer. And um, I haven't seen a bumblebee yet or a wasp or something like that. No insects, no spiders this year so far. I'm sure they're out there, but I haven't seen them. All righty, let's call it a night. A little pain in my tummy tonight from crunching over. That's okay. I'll go and settle down. It's midnight, my time. I've got to close the poll. That was a good poll tonight. It's a very honest poll, right? Could geothermal solve the energy crisis sooner than fusion of small modular reactors? Because, you know, they actually don't exist, right? Huh. Hmm. Thought-provoking, Dana. But the, by the way, the energy crisis is caused by a staged war between Ukraine and Russia to impose inflation after years of destroying the economies worldwide with the scandemic, which, right, which, because you bankrupted millions and millions of small companies, and a lot of that was replaced by large corporations like Amazon and that. Just look at Iraq and Afghanistan. You know who won the war? Monsanto, because you can't grow food natural food 
the natural seeds in Afghanistan for at least 20 years after the war, he said. Only Monsanto could grow food in the nuclear radiological. And I say nuclear because you use so much uh, depleted uranium munitions. So that was a great poll. We thank everybody for participating. Hey, everybody. Hugs for everybody. Hugs for everybody. Have a great night. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Uh, a lot of news in tonight's cycle. That was pretty fun. I hope everybody's doing good. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Is Thursday night. And tomorrow's the last day of the week for us. We start our shows on Fridays. I'm going to need a... I'm still recovering from five days out on the boat in a six-day period. That was hardcore. That was probably too much for a start of the year. I'm still recovering, right? And... Um, I thought that was a great show. We had lots of material. We're going to be doing a similar show tomorrow night. I hope you join us. I hope you have a great night regardless. And a great day tomorrow. Hugs for you and your loved ones. Have a great day. See everybody tomorrow night for the last show of the week. And if you make it this far, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It might actually change the world. You never know who you is going to find the video because you shared it. Take care. Good night, everybody. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow night for the last show of the week.